that Aussies under the age of 35 mm. are the most likely to believe in conspiracy theories? I always thought it was older people. Mm. You know what I mean? Like your old aunt who's obsessed with some theory. Well, a spokesperson for YouGov that did mm. the research on this said that the higher rates... Uh, for under 35s could have something to do with growing up in a period of time where the truth is seen as less certain or less objective. Yep. And if you think about all the stuff that's flying around on social, social media, media and that yeah. whole like fake news thing, yep. there's that a would, lot of... That would mean that people under that age, they're seeing a lot more, so they're believing a lot more. Yeah, yeah exactly. So 17% of 18 to 35-year-olds believe that COVID was a myth created by powerful forces. Mm -hmm. 30% of under 35s believes that um, the US government was responsible for 9 11. Yeah, I've seen 24% that one yep. mm. believe that the moon landing was faked. Yep. And 19% are Holocaust deniers. That's awful. One conspiracy theory I will never understand, though. Mm is people believing that the Earth is flat. I know, and I've heard this one before, and I find it... See, the other ones I, I find quite dangerous. Mm. This one I find harmless. Yeah. But I don't get it. Me either. I don't well, get why you would think it's flat. But to try to convince us otherwise, we have a guest on the show who is known as Flat Earth Dave from the Flat Earth Love Podcast. Yep. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hey, guys, how you doing? We're really good, good mate. So we were talking about conspiracy theories. Under 35s are the most likely to believe in them. One of the ones that we are always, I'll be, I'll be honest, amused about, and um, we find it harmless, is the flat earth theory. Mm. We're, we've got to be honest, Emma and I have flown. We've seen the world as round. We thought, Dave, can you convince yeah. us? Why do you think the earth is flat? Well, in five minutes, I can't convince you on our audio podcast, but after we're done, anybody that wants to go to flatearthdave.com, mm -hmm. there's plenty of information there yeah. and things you can test yourself. So, so um, on, a, on a ball, if we lived on a ball, there should be a physical horizon at a set distance based on globe mass on the size of our ball, which yeah. you guys don't even know what the size is, and it's a, it's a model that you def defend. Mm -hmm. But we can see too far. We can zoom in on things that should be a mile below the curvature with today's optics. We can... Uh, um, Navy ships can put a laser on another ship 100 miles away, there should be over a mile of water between them. Same thing with sonar. Submarines on the bottom can see another submarine a mile away. You'd have to think that that sonar climbs over that hill over a mile tall and then hits the sonar and comes back. That's ridiculous. That's impossible. Every single scientific test proves the Earth is flat, and only people's belief is what, is what makes them think that the Earth is uh, the flat Earth is stupid. But you believe wait, wait. that flat Earth is a disc floating in space because that's what the flat Earth society tells you. We're not the flat Earth society. That's a government-run disinformation site. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were just talking about science, and, and NASA is technically yeah. science. So what does NASA do, and is NASA lying to us that the Earth is round? NASA, NASA is nothing but a green screen space fake agency. The moon landings were fake. That's obviously provable for anyone that takes two minutes to look into it. Ooh, okay. um, the, all of these, all of these uh, space um, satellites and that space station, all nonsense. Um, they, NASA, they don't even exist. So the, the men that go up in, into space, that's just like what done in a Hollywood studio or something. Absolutely, 100%. And mm. we've caught them uh, hundreds of times. I have tons of videos of them hanging from wires, green screens, faking things, augmented reality. Oh. It's all there for you to see. But the problem is you Google Flat Earth and the top thing that will come up with Kelly in her new book, Over the Edge, with um, John, whatever his name is on CNN, making just totally uneducated nonsense about what Flat Earth is. We're not a disc floating in space. Think about this. When it rains, where does the water settle? It settles in the low spot. And the edge of that puddle, the container of that puddle, is the land that's higher than the water. Mm -hmm. Now expand that to a pond and a lake. Mm -hmm. A lake is a body of water surrounded by land that is higher. Well, guess what? Antarctica, they tell us, is the highest land on Earth. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But now think about what's the container of our world pond. Antarctica is the land that surrounds our pond. It's the highest land on Earth. It contains our water, we live in the Antarctic Basin. Large bodies of water at rest lay flat. There is no curvature. It's testably scientifically provable. Interesting. But, now, uh, let's just say, let's just say, because uh, you look, obviously go and listen to the podcast and look it up if you want to know more. Let's just say you are telling the truth here and we're all wrong. Why? Why would they bother? Why why? Yeah, why, why would no, they no, lie? No, no, no. Why would you lie? Why would anyone lie? But what's the 
point? If the Earth isn't round... What's the point of the lie? 100%. I'm with you. That is the big question. And here's the thing. If you walked into a room and there's dead bodies all over the place, yeah. torn to pieces, you don't go, what's the motive? I don't believe that they're dead. You mm. look for the evidence. And when you look for the evidence of globe Earth, you'll find out there's absolutely none. And the stuff that they tell you, boats over the horizon, sticks I, and shadows 2,000 years ago, okay. nonsense. Right. Okay, if Flat Earth, Dave, so if the world isn't round... If Earth isn't round and it's flat, like what shape is the Earth supposed to look like from space? It's not. Well, first, space isn't what they tell us. Space is uh, misdescribed. You can't have a vacuum of space next to a high-pressure atmosphere. Um, that's impossible. You can't prove it anyway in science. There's no test that will show you high pressure next to low pressure without a physical barrier. And you, can, you can't do it. You can't replicate it. And we have a, uh, the ultimate vacuum of space doesn't rip air off of the earth. And the only thing that people can say is, well, gravity is yeah, holding it on. Gravity. But I can take a straw and suck air and water up and away from the earth with the weak low pressure of my mouth and lungs. Mm. Right? That is not as strong as you know, gravity, but I'm able to pull it away. And the vacuum of space is a billion, trillion times stronger than my lungs. But, and, but that's uh, all relative, though, isn't it? Like, if we have gravity on earth, no. the gravity on earth is different to the gravity in space. Therefore, that's why we can suck water through a straw. So, so which gravity are you talking about? Einsteinian or Newtonian gravity? Because they recently Whoa. changed yeah, it. Which one? I don't know, I don't which know one? the names okay. of the gravity. I just mean gravity on Earth is obviously a lot weaker than gravity in space. Dave, uh, Flat Earth Dave, so what do you think the world looks like? Where yeah. does it start and end? And does it fall off a cliff? Like if I was on a boat and I kept on going to the end, where, what would happen? So first, you wouldn't make it to the end because the Antarctic Treaty put in place in 1959 doesn't allow anybody to go farther than 60, oh. degrees, so 60 degrees south, which you can't even see Antarctica from even that. that not even There's no way. You're, you're hundreds, thousands of miles mm -hmm. from Antarctica. You're not allowed to go there. Antarctica is the shoreline. So imagine our world like a pond, mm -hmm. a big lake in, um, in the middle of your country, all right? in the middle of the flattest area of your country. And what is out there? We don't know. Does it terminate? Does it go on forever? Is it an extended plane? Um, you know, it's the same question. What's at the end of your universe in your heliononsensical model? Um, it doesn't make any sense. So when you actually look at the, at the facts on what's going on here, then you'll see the deception and um, answer why the lie when you're ready. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. So, so it might not even be like, because I'm thinking, is it a rectangular prism? Is it a cube? But it might not be anything. You're no, saying it no, could just no. be a plane that goes forever. Well, I don't know. I call it an extended plane because anything beyond the shoreline of Antarctica is off limits. So we can't go we there. Don't know. There's a hundred different there's a mm. hundred different companies that'll let you vacation to this little peninsula in Antarctica off of Santiago, Chile, but they won't let you explore the outer space. Who think about that? And and what's out there? We don't know, but maybe there's more land out there. There there's uh, Admiral Byrd supposedly went out there and said there's land bigger than the United States filled with resources and no human has ever set eyes upon. <gasps> maybe that's where they film the moon landing. <laughs> No, they filmed that in Hollywood. Oh, okay, so in Hollywood, of course. <laughs> hey, mate, mate really, get ahead of yourself. really interesting stuff, and I, I am now a flat earther. I'm sorry, you've got me. I'm no, convinced. No, you're not. No, you're not. Don't be that way. <laughs> FlatEarthDave.com. Check out the information there, and I'm offering three bitcoins for one proof of the globe. Three bitcoins, oh, one proof of the globe. There flat we go. Dave .com. Wow. Check it out. Mate, love it. Thanks so much for yeah. being a good sport. Thanks, you have a, a very interesting theory. Right. Thanks so much. All right, it's not a theory. Globe's a theory. Bye-bye. Sorry, sorry. That's a <laughs> We're all He's wrong. He's wrapping you. He wrapped me up. <laughs> Bye-bye. Telling me I'm wrong and the globe is wrong. Live on TV.